We're looking at kinetics and equilibrium questions from the 2015 chemistry regents exams, and we're going to check out one through five here. So question one, given the equation um, representing a system at equilibrium. So I have the word equilibrium, and you also see I have double arrows, which indicates I have um, a system that is a reversible process. We're asked which statement describes this reaction at equilibrium. What's equal at equilibrium are the rates of the forward and the reverse reactions. So it can't be choices three and four. That's just a fact. You've got to know it. What happens with concentrations of the reactants and products at equilibrium is that they remain constant. So there's my answer, choice two. For question two, it's asking us what happens or explain why the increase in temperature increases the rate of a chemical reaction. Well, not only do the particles have more energy, but they're going to collide more frequently because they have that energy. Don't forget, temperature is a measure of the kinetic energy of whatever the particles are, atoms, ions, molecules, right, that make that substance. So always keep that in mind. That will show up time and time again. In question three, we have an open flask, and then it's asking about phase equilibrium. Well, if I have an open flask, here's my horrible picture of a flask, and here's my water, what's going to happen? Well, over time, of course, water molecules are going to go into the gas phase, and if there's no stopper, eventually they'll find their way out. So what do I have to do? Stopper it. Because once I stopper the flask, I'm going to have water molecules go from liquid to gas, but at the same time, eventually, gas to liquid. So the answer here is choice two. For question four, system at equilibrium again. I'm told that. Here's my double arrow. And now they're saying if only the concentration of N2 is increased. Well, this is a, what's known as a Le Chatelier's question. So when you stress a system that's in equilibrium out, in this case with adding some N2, the equilibrium will shift to relieve that stress. In other words, I have my forward and reverse rates that are equal, but now we've thrown that off. And we've thrown that off by adding more N2. By adding more N2, what happens is I haven't added any H2, so the concentration of H2 will go down, concentration of NH3 will go up. And also, because they showed you energy, I just want to mention that the, the more energy would be released, at least for a time until the system re-equilibrates. And sure enough, for question four, here's our answer, choice one. NH3 is increasing. So anytime I add a reactant or product to a system in equilibrium, the shift will go away. Anytime I take a reactant or a product from a system in equilibrium, the shift will go towards that equilibrium. Now, shift by shift, I mean the rate of the reaction, again, going towards if it's taken away or add um, away if it's added, it will be out of balance until it re-equilibrates. For question five, we have a reaction at equilibrium, which chain can increase the rates of the forward and reverse reactions. So we want to increase both of them. Well, decreasing the concentration of the reactants is going to throw off the equilibrium, just as I mentioned. Because I'm going to be taking something, so it's going to, the rate of one or the other will go, go faster to try to relieve that stress. So that's not the answer. I shouldn't have put a circle. I should just put an X. Decrease in the surface area of the product. Well, that's not going to help either. It's only going to help in one direction. Increasing the temperature of the system will actually help both the forward and reverse, in this case, equally. And there's our answer. An increase in the activation energy of the forward reaction means then in choice four, if the activation energy you need more, it's actually going to slow down the forward for a while. So that's not the answer either. The answer there is choice three. Check out the next video for kinetics and equilibrium for the rest of the questions from 2015.